guys welcome back to my channel kerja datang online in this video i'm going to share with you how you are going to interface your infrared sensor that been attached to the arduino uno and also being connected via the hc05 bluetooth module and then we are going to receive the information and data and thus record all those information in the csv format and this csv format is being collected using um, the double apps under the steampedia company so without further ado let us demonstrate the function of it so the first one this is infrared sensor and then this is the idea of the double apps and then we have here is the lcd just to see some indication and then we have here is the idea of how the mechanism of our sensor you see when i approach then this led are going to blink um, light up and then when i move it away it is being um, light down eh? so this is a basically a functioning switch and then we want to retrieve this information and then uh, get those information from our double apps here double apps is a free applications that you can install directly in your um, ios or android phone and then we have this uh, hc05 bluetooth module and then this is uh, infrared sensor hw201 attached with the lcd the lcd is just to the indicator uh, for this particular uh, setup and then i have here is a uh, uh, arduino uno sensor shield version 5.0 okay so the connection of this uh, setup are being attached in the link of this description together with the coding part of the Arduino which I'm going to explain it later on so let us uh, simulate the idea of doing it so the first one you have to click this uh, button over here to indicate the um, the searching of the uh, Bluetooth module okay let me do that again so the first step you can just go here and then select your device so your device should be named as HC05. It depends also as default. As default, it is set up at the uh, HC05, this one. Okay. And then you can connecting it. And then uh, because this is the first time being paired, so you have to insert uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 0, 0, 0, uh, 4 times. So it depends on the default setup of this thing. And then after that, they say that uh, the data enable logging configuration ok.csv is done over there and then you can scroll down we got this iot okay this is the iot apps and then you can click those iot apps and then you can proceed with the data logger okay inside the data logger it is being configured so that whatever uh, the information gathered from this arduino that being connected with the hc05 bluetooth module over here that's already successfully been connected will be uh, used to read all the details uh, based on the sensor so what is the general setup of this idea is basically we want to log in a certain, certain action uh, towards a certain event that's happening um, in our sensor so that we can record it and then we can also make uh, changes and also analysis in the future so let me just reconnect it again because sometimes uh, they need to be recorded or um, reconnected it um, because of the stability of the bluetooth module okay so now it's uh, already um, indicate bahaya okay bahaya in malay is danger so let's say this is a switch when we go nearby they will say okay and then also uh, in the lcd over there and then when something happen let's say we have some um, setup where the gate are being ripped off for example then they indicate some danger over here so this danger is actually being data locked as a csv format and we can further analyze it later on uh, using microsoft excel to know about the time and also the date uh, with regard to this kind of action okay similarly with this uh, lcd is just giving a notation and perhaps you can interact um, with a more complicated mechanism where uh, we can have a buzzer or LED being buzzing, uh, being buzzing around and so on. So let's say the setup is already being reset or the switch are, also, uh, are already in place. Then uh, the message here indicate the OK. That's mean nothing's happened at our setup. Okay. But if we trigger the sensor over here, for example, we give a trigger and then they indicate something and record all those information in a live manner. Uh, in our handphone and also keep it and store it inside our 
a CSV file that can further bring analyze uh, using our Microsoft Excel or any statistical package. So this is how we want to interact the HW201 infrared sensor um, as an example of the primarily the main sensor of this project uh, together with this uh, Bluetooth module HC05 with the Dabbles uh, apps that being um, downloaded and installed from the Steampedia website. So all the details with regard to this um, idea are being discussed in the descriptions of this video never mind so let us go and then have a quick look about uh, how we want to set up our arduino together with all this code so the first one as you can see here we do some sort of initialization where i configure my setup using arduino uno together with the i square c device that you can see over here i got the i square c that being attached to the a4 and a5 i'm using the arduino sensor shield version 5 to make easier of my connection and then i'm just going to concentrate using the um, female and female connector jumper cable and then we have to initialize the iot so to initialize the iot you can uh, go to the devil over here on the left corner of your picto blocks you can see we got this uh, picto block over here you can just click there and then uh, please find the appropriate iot iot module okay see this is the iot module just follow accordingly my setup over here set a bluetooth board rate um, followed by the creation of the file name so my file name is ok ok.csv followed by a creation of a column where I name it as record okay this is in Malay but actually it's only a name of that particular column so that uh, we can instruct the Arduino to uh, send a message towards that and then I'm attaching this uh, Arduino head with all this initialization stage with the forever block where I attach everything together with this if statement if you can see here so this is the first if if uh, read status of digital pin because the infrared sensor over here are being attached to the uh, infrared sensor okay so let me just uh, zoom out a little bit okay this is being attached at the digital sensor number four and then uh, we can focus on the next one where we have to clear our display to avoid any interruption from the previous message and then set cursor as usual you can also watch my previous video that are talking about this and then write the bahaya bahaya in Malay uh, in English we call it as a danger just an indicator and then we give some uh, weight or delay so that it can stabilize the reading and then followed by lock record so we lock the record so this name must similar with this name okay inside your column so what will be record so this is only a notation of that danger into the uh, module that's why when you see it inside our uh, setup over here we can uh, have a look about this bahaya bahaya means danger okay this is danger that's mean danger all right so um then we can proceed more and discuss about the another one which is uh, i believe um we are going to talk about the else so this one is actually an, an if block statement where i put the if on the top over here um after being read the digital si signal from the digital pin number four and then followed by this if and then if something else happening so we are just going to say that um similarly but we change the word into a good good or okay or something like that and then it is also being recorded into our uh, csv file from our double apps okay so in a nutshell we cover already how you can use hw201 infrared sensor module together with the arduino uno um, that being attached with the sensor shield version 5 using the double apps that is freely okay that's all for this video guys thank you for watching this video please do like if you think that this video is cool and please do also suggest if you think that our content need to be upgrade or improve or you have some ideas about um, new things or new projects that I should explore and uh, furthermore a special credit goes to Steampedia company who are invented these uh, picto blocks uh, based on the scratch and then uh, until next time see you again bye bye